Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm back with my second part of Marilyn books I think you should own if you want to start collecting Marilyn Monroe books. I'm going to do now the photography books or the photo books. So I haven't put the other ones away yet, so I've got a big job ahead of me. So the first one I'm going to do, this is the most expensive book, I think it was £150 when I got it. and. It does have uh, three or four versions. Now this is part of the, I'm gonna show you the, the cover of the box first. That's how big it is. Can you see it? And this is Marilyn and it's by Andrew Didieris and this is a reproduction of the box he kept his Marilyn photos in. So the book actually comes in three sections. There are three books to this collection. And the first one is a small pamphlet of some of the covers that Andrew Didieris photos appeared on um, during her lifetime. I actually have that one. <laughs> I have a couple of them actually, probably. I definitely have that one. I love the picture posts. So yeah, there's some ni really, really nice, nice ones in there. So it's some of the covers, not all of them, because his photographs are so well renowned that they've been on loads. And as I do this, I'm gonna put it back in the box because just to protect it, because it's very expensive. The next part of the book is a reproduction of his journal that he kept during the times he spent with Marilyn Monroe and he's got pictures in there like that. and it's all typed version of his journal so it's exactly how it, he would have typed it up himself because he was thinking of publishing a book at some point but he never did it before he died sadly Ooh. so that's that bit that's really interesting as well and then the book itself it's this big. So this is a massive book um, and it is filled with some of the most gorgeous photographs. Colour and black and white. Let's see if I can find one of the colour ones. There you go, some of the colour ones there. Of Norma Jean when she was very young. So yeah, this is a beautiful book. I, mean, I don't know what I'm going to be picking up next on the pages back there. There you go. These are some of my favourite. She looks so sad. So. Yeah, this is so beautiful. You can't go wrong with a book on of Andres photos. Absolutely stunning. He did. There is another version of that, which is here. This is the, I think it was like 10 quid or 12 quid budget version. It's also easier to read, so yeah. And there's also a book he released in the 80s. I'm not sure where that one is though. They got so many books, it's unreal. So Andrew Dance, you can get hold of his quite quickly. Another, the next one is uh, another book by Michelle Morgan. Um, this one is by Michelle Morgan and Astrid Franz, and it's called Before Marilyn, The Blue Book Modeling Years. This only came out, was it this year or last year? Last year, I think. Let's just check the date. 2015. Astrid Franz went to America with her husband and they went into some secondhand shops looking for Marilyn Monroe stuff. And in one shop, this, the owner said, oh, I've got a box of stuff if you want it. So they said, yeah. And they took it home. And it was only a few years later when they were running their shop, which I think is called Bailey's 50s. I said about that anyway. Um, I will find out and put in the notes below along with a list of all the books mentioned. That she pulled the box out and started going through it. And then she realised that she had bought the archive of Emmeline Snively. Emmeline Snively wrote, uh, ran the Blue Book Modelling Agency. Um, from Hollywood. It was run from the Ambassador Hotel during Marilyn's time and Marilyn signed on to that agency. It was her first agency. Jane Mansfield also later signed on to that agency. So this book is filled with photos from the Blue Book Archive, not just on Marilyn but on everybody else and there's Marilyn's entrance into the Blue Book Model Agency. That's her book and that was by David Conover I think. Then we have Bill Purcell's pictures again. That one there. That's one of Bill Purcell's. Um, some, some of the other ones. So these are pictures that were taken at Blue Book. Here's some of David Conover's. There they are. Gorgeous colour. And it is a beautiful insight to how she got started with her modelling career and then later on to her acting career. And also it's an insight to the woman who really discovered Marilyn, which was Emmeline Snively because she gave her a chance. She lent the money to do the course. Marilyn paid it back from her modeling jobs. It's all in here. It's a beautiful edition. Uh, I love it. So <laughs> Michelle, thank you. <laughs> thank you for writing it. And Astrid, thank you for sharing uh, with us 
Hermeline's and Ivory's archive because it is wonderful for you to do that. You didn't have to, but we, we are grateful for it. We really are. And, and I'm, I'm just saying how I feel now. I really appreciate that you shared it, shared it with us. Moving on to another great book and another great Marilyn photographer, we have Milton's Marilyn by Milton Green. Milton Green took some of the most beautiful photographs of Marilyn. I can get them on. Um, from around 1954 for a few years and he became her business partner in setting up Marilyn Monroe Productions. I do have a couple of Milton Green's pictures framed that we got because um, Milton's son Josh runs an archive of photos and you can buy them. They're currently restoring all of his work that they've got and Here's some of the ones from Bus Stop. They are absolutely stunning. His, his photos are some of the most gorgeous I've ever seen. I'm looking for one in particular if I can find it. I don't know where it is. It'll be in here because it's one of the most beautiful pictures of her. If I can't find it, it doesn't matter. I'll probably show it to you again when I do a review. But he did. He took oh some, some amazing photographs of her even rehearsing rehearsing that old black magic from bus stop that's fabulous so yeah that is definitely one of my favorite books i love milton's marilyn we would love josh joshua if you're watching this we would love a complete milton green if you know once you've restored everything if you could release them in like a big book we would happily pay about 500 pounds for that i certainly would i would love to see it now Marilyn has had lots of compilation photo books over the years um, so we're gonna, we've got a couple of those in here now and the first one is Metamorphosis this came out a few years ago oh it's a heavy book and I think this was at 12 or 14 pounds by David Willis Wills rather and Stephen Schmidt and again it's full look at this of gorgeous fairly rare photos of Marilyn from across the years and it, they're just stunning absolutely gorgeous I mean I could look at these books all day one of the first posters I ever bought was of that one it wasn't the first but it was one of them and I love I love this book I'm just gonna pop it on the floor because it's very very heavy they all are now the next one is called MM Personal from the private archive of Marilyn Monroe and this was by Lois Banner and David Sorry, I'd say it's a light, Mark Anderson. A few years ago, some filing cabinets of Marins were discovered um, in somebody who worked for her's garage. The items have since been returned to the Strasbourg archive where they've been sold because that's all they do. And they contain things like contracts and letters that Marilyn sent and clothes, there was jewellery, handbags, we don't know how much of it was actually Marilyn's because anybody can slip jewellery in but when you get things like her Screen Actors Guild membership cards and receipts you know it's from hers because they're addressed to her and some of the saddest things are in here like um, things to Miss, Mrs Miller from a maternity shop and of course she had miscarriages she never had a child my batch is getting there so I've got to be quick the next one came out last year it's called Marilyn in the Flash again it's by David Wills who wrote Metamorphosis which is down on the floor and it's full of great press photos and it's about Marilyn's relationship with the press it is a must-have book it is absolutely gorgeous so you've got these are these are books you've got to have there's no excuse one of the oldest books in the photo collection books is The Ultimate Leg of the Legend, gorgeous picture, by James Haspel. He was a fan who followed her around New York. Let's see if I can find any more. There's one. In the 50s and early 60s. Um, he had unprecedented access to them. He, he hung out with a group called the Monroe Six. He wasn't actually a member of the Monroe Six. This is Jimmy and the Monroe Six. This is Jimmy. And this is the Monroe Six. I think that's Frida Hull there, I'm not sure. Frida Hull's collection of photographs is going up for sale really soon. It's going to make a fortune because she collected from the early days. This is a beautiful book. You should definitely get it. Um, there is a paperback edition. I don't have that. I only have the hardback, but definitely get it. There are three books by James Haspel, but the first is definitely the best. One of the rarest books is next. Good luck at finding this one. 
This is called The Life, The Myth. It was published by Rizzoli in the early 90s. The reason this is so rare is that they didn't have permission to use the photographs and it was pulled from the warehouse. It didn't even make the shops. I ordered this direct from the publisher and any copies that weren't sold and sent out were destroyed. There was only ever one printing. You can find it. Sometimes it can be fairly cheap. Sometimes it can be very, very expensive, but it's a beautiful selection of photos and magazine covers. It's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. It's in English and Italian. I hope you have the English version. Next one is a sweet little book called Blonde Heat. This is the sizzling screen career of Marilyn Monroe by Richard Buskin. Obviously, it's all about her films. Before this book came out, all we had really was um, a smaller book that he had made um, and the films of Marilyn Monroe by Mark Ritchie and Michael Conway, which was great. But this had colour pictures in it and backstage stories, whereas theirs was just reviews and synopsises. Next is a gorgeous book called Marilyn, August 1953, The Lost Look Photos by John Vachon. Now these were taken during the making of River of No Returning Canada. Um, this is a beautiful book. Um, it has some very lovely photographs of Marilyn. And on the cover is her holding a Rolleiflex. Yay! So yeah, and this is just beautiful for candids and rare photographs. This is a really, really good book to see. I just stood on something. That's not good. I've probably broken the Wizard of Oz. Next is um, Marilyn Monroe in Spain, A Life Documented by Frederick Cabanas. He has got a major collection of Monroe stuff and my battery's going. Pictures of all the stuff in Spain that came out during her life. Some of the stuff in Europe as well. So there's English stuff in there, French stuff. This is absolutely gorgeous. These books are not cheap. It cost me £60 to get this sent from Spain. But it is beautiful. Again, it's in Spanish and English and it's well definitely recommended. Now, these are the ones that I think you should get, but they're not 100% necessary. Marino by Eve Arnold. I actually like Eve Arnold pictures. Some people don't, because they don't like some of the way she looks. Look, I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful she is. I don't know if you can see that, because I can't see the monitor now. Yeah. Um, Eve Arnold worked with Marilyn from around 1953 up until 1962, so most of her career, and took photos at various times. There are some lovely colour photographs in here. She took the famous photograph of Marilyn reading James Joyce's Ulysses. Um, can't find it, but it's... Oh, look at this. Look, a beautiful photograph. So that's one I think you should get, but um, you don't have to prioritise it. Excuse me, disappearing there to put it down. Over some of the others. Next one's another expensive book. This is The Complete Last Sitting by Bert Stern. I'm not going to show you all of it because you'll get nudie pictures because she did pose nude for him with scarves. But there are some very gorgeous photographs in here. Um, there's also the ones of her wearing a black wig. If I can find them, and I want to find them because I want to show you them for a reason. There they are. Now, a couple of years ago, story went around that she was wearing that big black wig to emanate Jackie Kennedy because she was having an affair with John F. Kennedy. It's absolute nonsense. It was the fashion at the time. She was doing a fashion shoot for Vogue. Not many people know that, but that is the truth. So it's nonsense. Right. Anyway, yeah, it's a lovely book, but it's not cheap. That cost me £70 when it came out. Now that version, the 92 version, is around 100 or 150 quid now to get. The next one is a gorgeous book. The Lost Photos from Niagara. Uh, called Falling for Marilyn. So these are all photographs from the making of the film Niagara. Jock Carroll was a Canadian reporter and photographer who followed her around when she was filming Niagara. So that's another gorgeous book. And again, candid photos. A lot of them are just candid photos, which are the best. The final one is a book that cost £30 when it came out. It's called, weighs about £30 as well. No. Her Life and Legend is by Susan Doll, and I have all oh, fallen over great memories of this book because I bought, well, I had this for Christmas, I think. I remember seeing it in, whoops, the cover's come off. I'll take the cover off. In Waterstones. And obviously, I flipped very quickly through it. There were a lot of things at that point I hadn't seen, a lot of pictures I hadn't seen and that I wanted to get it and I couldn't afford it, it was very expensive 
but I was very lucky because I had it for my parents for my birthday or for Christmas. I think it was Christmas, along with Andrea Dianis's first post about one or more. So those are 30 Marilyn Monroe books I think you should have on your shelves. This is part two, the first 15 were biographies and you can check out the link below. Now, what I'm gonna say is if there's any books you think that should be on that list that I haven't had add, I haven't put on my list, let me know in the comments below and I will tell you why I haven't put them on my list or I'll advise why I haven't put them on my list or it may be that I haven't got them yet and I'm planning to and I, the, you know, the list changes from day to day, from month to month, from week to week, year to year and it will keep changing depending on the books. So all I'm going to say is those are the books I would recommend you buy if you're new to collecting Marilyn Monroe books. Keep looking but be careful before you buy something on eBay because you think that's going to be the cheapest check Amazon because I saw a book on eBay today when I was looking and it was at £15. This is a new book and I think it's a self-published book as well. On Amazon brand new it was 9 99 so do be careful when you're buying books. Check and research first. Check Amazon, check aid books and check eBay. Find the cheapest and go for it. Good luck and happy hunting with your Marilyn book collection. I will be back soon with another video. If you want me to do a bookshelf tour of Marion, I will. I am planning on doing it at some point, but I've got to get it and sort out the shelves. So for now, that's it. I will see you soon. Good night. Bye.